Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today I'm with my friend Talib. Talib, say hi. Hey everybody, fellow Tesla owner here. So he's, Excited uh, about this video. So he's, uh, he's joining me on my roundabout test. Talib did actually sit on one of my FSD tests before, long time ago, but we, we weren't really filming. And uh, it was one of the old versions on version 10, I think, last year. So yeah. I don't know, do you notice any differences with version 11, Talib? Uh, well, uh, significant differences. I think school zones have significantly improved since then. Last time I remember, it wouldn't even slow down in school zones. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. no, that's good. Okay, so we are going to hit our first set of roundabouts, and then we're going to do, um, we're going to loop around and uh, go back through the same sets again. And then we'll do a three-quarter roundabout towards the end of the test just to see if there's any differences. Now, these roundabouts are a little bit tricky. They are multi-lane roundabouts, not single-lane roundabouts like the ones you see usually. Um, so, yeah, there's a, with version 69.25.2, it was kind of um, uh, all over the place, uh, signals a lot, and... Uh, and uh, it signals a lot, but it doesn't really change lanes. And if there's a car next to me, it gets even more confused. So right now, I think this lane is ending. So we should be actually changing lanes to the left. Now, if I, if I leave it, I think it's not going to do that. So I'm just going to give the signal takeover for this piece over here. Did not select correct lane for the path forward. Okay, so here we go, we're coming into our first roundabout, Let's see how it does. There is, there is a car behind me, so I'm just a little bit wary, I should tap the accelerator over here, I don't want to interrupt the traffic flow, and yeah, it, the car is going a little bit sideways, <laughs> so yeah, that was really good, first attempt. Not that great. <laughs> better than the earlier one. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the car behind me is now on my left lane. So a random signal there for no reason. Oh, and this time it's actually entering the roundabout, slows down quite a bit, and then aggressively pulls forward. Okay, so I think it's still treating roundabouts like as if they are straight roads, I think. It doesn't really understand the concept of a roundabout, so that's not very good. So far, this is kind of like my impression. So we'll just uh, fast forward over here until we hit our next uh, roundabout that is over the bridge. Whoa, <laughs> that was an experience. <laughs> But seriously, though, it was a little bit better than the one at McKenzie. But yeah. that was a lot more challenging, too. That, the, the one in your neighborhood is challenging, yeah. Ooh, you had, like, cars behind to the <laughs> right, ahead of you, and then cars coming in. That was weird. So on 69.25.2, it actually did that turn very nicely. And uh, the other thing over here is that it doesn't change lanes over here. So, and then it just takes you out of the exit lane over here, which is also not good. I'm just going to wait it out to the end, see if it does change its mind. Oh, yeah, it does. Nice. Oh, all right. A little late. Okay, but and now we're deciding to change lanes all the way to the left side. I mean, it's still not a problem. We can still go straight ahead, technically. We do have a few cones over here next to the roundabout. I'm not sure if it's going to mess up the, the drive. It does this very nicely because it's not kind of like a roundabout. It's kind of like a like a free flow, like uh, traffic for like without even taking a full circle. So, but this is where it gets really confused. So we should be taking that exit over there. In, and the exit is actually located inside the roundabout, so it's a very, very stressed situation. So let's see how it handles this. Oh, and it does it for the first time! It did it for the first time, so it's 69.25.2. It never did that maneuver, never did it. 
that's actually impressive so there are a few small improvements and and it did it from like the the leftist lane all way, all the way to the right so that was a really nice i really really like that one it'll be interesting to test it again oh and we are getting confused here a bit it's kind of like moving away from that car yeah this is not really good oh yeah it's all over the place so I'm letting it do this because uh, there's no, not much cars surrounding me, so that's okay. But if there's someone next to me, obviously I'll have to slow down. Let's see if it detects this 30 kilometer speed zone. Yes, it does. And, oh, and it's going over the lane here. Okay, that's very weird. Okay, th shouldn't really do that. All right, let's loop around and um, we'll hit the roundabouts on the other way around. So yeah, like, um, I guess it did good on like what was it like three or three or four roundabouts but but yeah like the uh the impressive one was the one where it actually took the exit from that roundabout which it never did uh, but yeah let's see how, how it does on the way on the way back so we're approaching oh, no, a stop Fast. sign over here stop signs are a little bit different with uh, version 11 it actually stops a little bit longer. Let's see if the text that car does. And it does stop. Okay, that was a, that was a really close call, but it's a great spot by version 11. Obviously, the car behind me did get confused. We thought that he thought that he couldn't go through, so that wasn't a really safe situation. Deciding to take the right lane of this roundabout. Okay, I'm gonna intervene over here. All right, <laughs> pedestrian crossing from far away. All right, so that wasn't good as well. It's funny, there's different, there's like subtle differences between 69.25.2, like that turn, I've never experienced that taking me outside of the roundabout like while it's trying to go straight ahead and um and yeah there's some things that work like obviously that exit that uh that exit from the roundabout that uh that i i, I mentioned that it's, it's an improvement okay it's being a little bit slow and cautious here and it tends to like really cross lanes like much more um like much more confidently for but it's not supposed to like it's not the right way of driving i guess <laughs> through a multi-lane roundabout okay let's see how it handles this oh it's gonna stop in the middle of the road so i'm gonna tap the accelerator over here it kind of detected that car coming in from the right hand side into the roundabout but uh, and, and so it started to slow down slow it started to slow down cautiously so all right we'll skip ahead for I'll fast forward until we reach our next roundabout over here yeah this is tricky to drive in yeah with these vehicles uh, definitely and this is like not so much traffic right yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like imagine with a lot of traffic they they figure out uh, the roundabouts is gonna be amazing. Yeah. Let's try. Well, driving uh, this in Dubai. Yeah, well, roundabouts <laughs> every half a yeah. kilometer. Well, they were saying that uh, that they're gonna do a deep dive into roundabout tra uh, and uh, traffic and stuff, mm -hmm. but nothing like uh, there there was no update after that, like around it. I think there's not a lot of. Uh, Push here to do it too, because North America is not heavy in roundabouts. Roundabouts, yeah. 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 yeah, I feel like even like in Canada here and some local places you'll find it, but in the states it's even less. All right, so here we go. We're approaching our first roundabout. Yeah, and it's crossing lanes again, yeah. slowing down, and it's getting super confused. I'm just gonna let it do its thing because there's no cars behind me. I'm just curious to see what it's trying to figure out. Yeah, 
we shouldn't really stop at the entrance of a roundabout, so. And that lane crossing is definitely becoming a, a safety hazard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it certainly didn't do that a lot in version 11, uh, version 10, sorry. It, for some reason, it's doing that a lot now. Like, this is how the way it drives in version 10, I feel like. It just kind of goes but sticks to its lane. And then hits a random signal. Yeah. All right. So that was um, the set of roundabouts going backwards. Now I'm going to do a three-quarter roundabout test. And then we'll end the test right there. All right. So here we are approaching the roundabout to do a three-quarter roundabout test. Let's see how it does. I didn't have any issues with this in version 10. Okay, very confidently getting into the roundabout. That's a good start. Slow down. And a nice turn. And a nice exit with a very nice subtle acceleration. That's very, very, very nice. All right, so this was version 11 with 11.3.4 uh, with uh, roundabout tests in uh, Calgary, Alberta. Thanks everyone for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. Have a nice one.